You're streaming News 24 Live, and I'm Jerusha Sukthia Rath. And I'm Nicole Mathu. You're watching Sex, Religion, Politics, where we discuss the juiciest and sometimes very controversial news topics of the week. Nox, thanks so much for joining me today. Always a pleasure. Always a pleasure. Now, we know that you're not really supposed to talk about sex, religion, or politics, but... Um, for South Africans, it only makes sense. Exactly. <laughs> it only makes sense. So let's get straight into it. And unfortunately, the first topic that we're talking about is the furthest thing from sexy at all. In mm. fact, it's so disturbing. Won't you introduce it to Absolutely. us? Absolutely. So we heard there were allegations that Bill Cosby was being accused of having raped um, a number of women during his career. So a lot of women came forth about the fact that he'd used drugs to kind of um, get them to sleep with him. Um, so recently we found out that it was actually true when an, um, a documents came out that he actually admitted to having taken prescription medis medication to seduce these women. So if we look here, there's a CNN report where we get a sense of what it is that he admitted to and we can maybe go into you know, what people think. With the release of excerpts of that 2005 deposition, it's Bill Cosby's own words that provide the strongest evidence so far for more than two dozen women, alleging the 77-year-old comedian drugged and raped them. In it, Cosby admitted to having seven prescriptions for quaaludes. He was asked, when you got the quaaludes, was it in your mind that you were going to use the quaaludes for young women that you wanted to have sex with? Cosby responded, yes. All right, so we get a sense of, you know, the information that has come out. And it's absolutely ridiculous because these women were not taken seriously. And I think that's one of the biggest things that's come out on Twitter is that a lot of women came forward. And how is it that we didn't take them seriously? Yeah. When you know, that really makes me think of the Bob Hewitt case that unfolded in South Africa where this pro tennis um, player was accused of raping young girls. And they actually told their parents about it. They came forward and nobody believed them. And I think this has been highlighted in social media Absolutely. that when these women came forward, no one believed them. It's true. Like I hear, I've got a tweet here that says rape culture. And this is from Mark uh, Lamont Hill who says, needing Cosby to admit he's guilty before we believe it. If that's the standard, almost no one would be guilty of rape, which is so important. It's gone over 3,000 um, retweets, because I think it's so important. And with such a high rape culture across the world, mm. I think people are really, really upset at the situation. Yeah. I read a very interesting article this morning, and it was focused on Bill Cosby's wife of 50 years, who, after all of this, is still absolutely adamant that her husband didn't do anything wrong. Um, she says, yes, he did cheat on her a couple of years ago, but that's all in the past. And there's this real united front. And from a woman's perspective, that really made me think a lot about what must be going on in her life and, and her thought process. Um, I can't imagine what is happening, mm. but it, it must be such a difficult situation to deal with. Absolutely. And I don't even know, is she OK? Is, is it a good thing that she's standing behind him? Because you know, he has admitted in his own words now, like, what is that relationship between being a wife, and I can imagine he's your partner, and also then having to stand for something that is overtly wrong, mm -hmm. you know, I don't know where that line stands anymore. And I think that's the tricky thing about the situation. The writer of the article, it was a salon piece, actually ended by saying, you know, actually this woman's a businesswoman and she knows exactly what she's doing, so we can't paint her with the brush of, oh, the poor housewife who stands by her man. Mm -hmm. She knows what's happening. Yeah, it's interesting because um, a famous figure, Jill Scott, who openly at the time when the first allegations came out was in support of him. Whoopi Goldberg was also quite um, overt about her support. She says now that Jill Scott, she says, I stood by a man I respected and loved. I was wrong. And I think that's mm. quite important to admit that with the information that you now have, this is wrong. We can't support it. You know. What's interesting about Jill Scott's argument is she's saying that she just needed the evidence. She couldn't accuse a man of doing something when there was no evidence. And now that those court documents, the documents have been opened, she sees it. It's black on white. Mm -hmm. and, and she believes it. Again, though, problematic yeah. because, like a lot of these tweets are saying, sometimes there isn't evidence. And the, the actual survivors of the rape are just not believed. Yeah, that's true. I, I've read a tweet here. It says, when a black man is shot, we don't need facts. But when 30 black women say they've been raped, we can't believe them. And there's a comic uh, meme here. But I think it gets a sense of the biggest problem that we have here. And even in the Bob Hewitt case, I think that was the exact same issue. So 
I don't know, is this a victory? I'm, I'm not too sure, I don't know what you think. I think that it will be if there is some criminal prosecution happening and if you know the law runs at court its course when it comes to Bill Cosby. Yes, this is in the public domain at the moment, but I think it's probably important that we see charges um, laid against the man and the whole legal process going forward, especially for the women who survived this. I think it's probably important for them. Of course, we can't speak on their behalf. Absolutely.